my wonderful, lovely, beautiful, talented, fairy friends. <laughs> I'm trying to get you in a good mood because this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> Today I'm going to be working on my fairy forest and I'm so excited to share this with you. I was very scared to start working on this and I was very scared while working on it. <laughs> and now I'm scared while sharing it. So yeah, basically I'm just scared all the time. But I think it turned out pretty good and I'm excited to share with you. But yeah, we are going to be working on my fairy forest. The first thing that I'm doing is placing peanuts. Uh, a house. I don't know why I forgot that word, but I did. <laughs> so I wanted to have some trees behind it. So I just placed one to, for reference and then I placed a house down in a way that it wouldn't remove the tree. And it would actually kind of show at the back. Doesn't really, but it kind of does. As you can see, I have a bunch of trees ready for me to transfer to the actual forest. And I have a bunch of stump trees everywhere because they're adorable. And I want to use different sizes of trees. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so giggly today, I mean I guess I kind of always am, but today it feels like it's more because I'm nervous about this, about sharing this because it's scary, and yeah, <laughs> oh my god I did it again. So right now I'm just trying to place a dollhouse above a floating block from the Mario items so that it looks like a fairy house above the trees. I love so much that little trick because I think it's adorable. The only thing is that I wish you could turn on the lights of the house either while it's up there or like before it's up there so that it actually is illuminated. Because you guys know I like my lights, I mean my whole island has a bunch of star fragments around it just because I like to see the glow of it. <laughs> and oh my god, this idea, it's not mine, I don't remember who it's from, but I mean it's Animal Crossing. I'm sure there's multiple people doing this, not just the one that I saw. But basically, I placed down the fairy dresses to make it look like fairies are there living there, standing there, being adorable there. I wanted to place more trees behind it because it seemed a very empty and I especially wanted to place a cherry blossom tree between those two cedar trees because I felt like it was missing some pink over there. So now I'm just going to be adding some more cliff. First, I'm gonna try to do the tree glitch, but the closeness to the edge of the cliff wasn't the problem. It was the closest, closeness, closeness. The problem was it being close to the other trees. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just adding another cliff space at the back and I'm gonna place some trees. Originally I placed down the single um, cherry blossom tree. Like it's just one ball but I didn't really like it and then I remembered later on in the video that actually I don't even know if it's in the video but I remember later on that I have the other stages of that tree, one of them which has two little balls, which is cuter. Oh, am I doing it right now? I think I'm doing it right now. Wow. I am doing it right now. <laughs> so I went to grab more items and of course to make another shovel because I broke it. And I think... I should be- oh my god, my phone is vibrating so hard right now. I'm so sorry, that was an alarm. I didn't know it was gonna go off. Uh, what was I saying? I 
oh yeah i think i should be switching out the tiny tree at some point but apparently not because i'm just like walking away and pulling out the camera i mean it's still cute but i i'm pretty sure i'm gonna switch it later at some point sometime <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i forgot to mention this i had this plan for the intro for it to be like super adorable and tell you guys to go grab something to drink and something to eat and just come here and watch and enjoy for like five minutes into the video and i completely forgot to say that before <laughs> i mean you can still do it and i hope that you did it before i said it because i i forget everything So now I'm going to be decorating the bottom of the... what's it called? What's the word? The forest, I guess. And I'm also going to be placing the HHA trophies behind some trees and above floating blocks so that it looks like more fairy houses. I mean, besides the doll houses, we have those other type of houses that I feel like are not used very often so I wanted to give them some love so I traded for some of them and went to mystery islands and stuff like that just so that I could use them specifically on this fairy forest I wasn't sure how to continue here so I decided to just place the path that's gonna go down to into the forest from the secret beach and the rest of the island I guess. Again I didn't know what to do with most of it so I'm just winging it mostly. And I knew that I wanted to include like a little blanket type of thing above the path so that it looked like it's above the path. I I'm, I'm, I swear I had better words to say this but yeah. <laughs> Basically what I was trying to say is that I wanted half of the or well, like part of the blanket to cover part of the path just to make it look cuter. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know why I said it so weird the first time. So I tried decorating this little picnic area a few different times. This is not going to be like the end result of it, just the dress. Actually, I think the dress is not even going to stay there for long. But as you can probably see, I'm all over the place with this build. It was so huge and there was so much to do and it was a bit overwhelming. And of course I had to add another floating block with some houses on top of it to, to make more fairy houses, that's the whole point of this. So then I got stuck up there on my own island and had to jump to the other side and then climb down. And then, after all that, I realized that I placed the dollhouse like facing the wrong way, so instead of just turning it around, I decided to place a HHA trophy, which personally I think looks cuter. You can probably see a lot of just me standing around and pulling out the camera to look at stuff, and that's because, like I said before, 
This was such a huge bill and I didn't know what to do with most of it, so I need time to think. This build actually took me about 3 hours, including those breaks. So while it might look like it's just a short 5 second break, in reality it was like 5 minutes. <laughs> So now I'm just continuing the pathway to Peanut's house that it's gonna be used for the forest. I went to my house to grab some more fairy core items such as the butterfly models and I'm pretty sure I also went to grab some fruit, not fruit, some fruit item to place there but I think that's at a different time so I just spoiled the video for you but anyway. <laughs> Moving on, you guys didn't hear anything, it's fine. You see how cute it looks the little house when the lights are on? I wish that you could turn on the ones that are on the floating block because it would be so much cuter. So now I'm decorating behind Peanut's house. Originally I wanted this to be the actual pathway into the forest, but because I had to adjust the cliff to fit in more trees, I ended up going to the other side instead. And behind Peanut's house is just gonna be like more foresty stuff. So I time traveled to the next day so that Peanut's house would actually be there because I was having trouble picturing it and seeing what you could see and stuff like that. See, there I placed the food item now. It was the pom pom pudding, pudding, pom pom pudding. It was it was the pudding from Disney Leo items. <laughs> But as I was saying, I went to the next day just so that I could see Peanut's house because I needed a break and just to, I don't know, to just picture it better I guess. Well, I guess now I don't have to picture it because it's there. I am terrible at speaking today. <laughs> I think part of it is because I feel like I have to talk for the full 30 minutes of this video. Otherwise it's gonna be a bit boring for you guys and I hope that it's not. But also I feel weird just sitting here in silence. So now I'm placing a rug and I'm going to be using the, what are they called? Oh my god, they're literally the thing that I'm playing, the switch, the switches. I'm going to be placing some of the switches around this area because I realized that I've never used them anywhere besides my house, like when I first got them. I haven't used them since and I thought it'd be cute to have them here because I mean if I were to go to a forest for some weird reason because that's never gonna happen but if I were to do it I would definitely take my switch with me. So I moved around the fruit tree so that you wouldn't be able to see it and so that I could place another house there. I wanted the pink one specifically. By the way, if by any chance you don't know how to stomp trees, you just plant a fruit tree right beside them, like around them. 
usually behind them because it hides them or you can do it to the side it doesn't matter it's gonna work either way and here i just moved the trees to make room in the middle for some another picnic area with another switch i actually didn't know i was gonna be doing this until i started doing it <laughs> Also, please don't judge my placement of the rug. I was trying to make it like bigger and bigger, but I didn't know how, so I gave up and just made it the size that it is now. <laughs> So there's another thinking break, just looking around at the area, hoping that ideas will come to me and that it looks good. So I went to grab more um, cedar trees because it was too much pink and they, I feel like they were missing. To be honest, right now, at this moment in time, I can't remember if I left it there or if I switched it back to the cherry blossom one. <laughs> But yep, apparently I ended up switching it back. I was trying to place this cupcake in the middle of the picnic rug so that it would look like you're actually eating it and didn't throw it just on the grass like it was before because I mean if you throw it on the grass, like on the grass, not the grass but if you throw it on the grass or the glass, I hope that you're not still eating it So I went home to grab more eggs from Bonnie Day because I actually ran out of the sky eggs. What? That is actually wild because I had a ton of them and I know that many of us have a lot of Bonnie Day eggs and I know that many people don't like them but I think that they're actually useful for pills like this where you have to move a lot of trees around or you have to destroy a lot of rocks and stuff like that. I accidentally planted the block, the floating block on the ground, <laughs> so I had to dig it up and then I tried to place them behind the cedar tree because since it's smaller I thought that you would be able to see it, but it turns out it's way too small for it, so so far I haven't found a way to use the fairy houses behind the cedar trees, but that's fine because they look very cute behind the cherry blossom trees. So now I'm just grabbing a bunch of flowers to decorate the area with. That's one thing that I love about this build, it just has flowers everywhere. So my giant flower storage actually paid off for something. <laughs> I wanted to remove that tree because it was blocking the view from the other part of the forest, I guess, but I'm pretty sure I ended up putting it back at some point later on. <laughs> But 
Um, am I gonna put it down now? I think I am. I think you can still see the decorations of the forest when you walk through. So that's what I wanted to fix in the first place and I did move it down a bit, I think. So here I'm placing that custom design because I was planning to put Peanuts picture there because I already have it. <laughs> Let me brag for a second, but I ended up switching it and I was gonna just place the photo somewhere in the forest, but I actually forgot to do it during this video and to this day I don't think I've done it, but I'm gonna do it at some point. Right now, I actually have it on my home, just like chilling there, not in the storage, in the actual home, it's placed there. Because Shemily told me that you could get extra HHA points for that, so I did it. <laughs> I completely forgot I had those items there so I just grabbed them and tried to think of a way or like of a place where to place them. I also wanted to use a lot of the flowers that I don't normally use like the white fancies because I don't really like them. And yeah, I decided to place them in the forest and hiding behind other items so they're not super visible but they're still visible. Um, so I don't know what to say now. I feel like I've been talking for so long. So why don't you guys talk instead? Like literally just right now out loud, tell me how your day is going and then just put it in the comments as well. <laughs> if I have to be awkward, then all of you have to be awkward as well. Since we're almost done with the video, I wanted to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this. 30 minutes is a long time to watch just one video and I know that there's many other content creators out there and it means a lot that you guys chose to watch this for 30 minutes or for 15 minutes if you watch it at double speed and if you just skip there then this is awkward for you. <laughs> So yeah, that, I just wanted to say thanks because it means a lot to Eric. you're watching this and if you're hearing this and you're watching this, so this is just for you, okay? No one else has this message besides you because you're watching this, you know? I've saved watching this way too many times in this video. <laughs>
Also, I completely forgot I had so many mushroom platforms from the Mario items until the very end, so I only used like two of them. I do wish I could have used more, but I went back to the other side of the forest and I couldn't find a place for them. Right now, I'm just placing the finishing touches, which is a small kit stand, tent, <laughs> and a fairy dress. And there I am again, trying to place a tree behind another tree, because I, I didn't learn apparently. I also forgot I had the mushroom lamps and many mushroom items, so I tried to place them at the end again and there were there wasn't much room for them but I, I added a few. And this is pretty much it for this video. In a few seconds I'm gonna show you the ember salt. I still have to go around the whole island and drop star fragments and mushrooms and stuff like that i haven't done that yet not just for this build but for any of them oh also i knew that i wanted to use three stumps just like to decorate the area to have my villagers to sit on But yes, this is the end result. This is what we stood here for 30 minutes for. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. I hope that you think it's cute and I didn't waste your time. Also, please excuse me trying to walk while recording like a with the camera up high. Apparently, I'm the worst at it. Please, 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 if you're still watching this, please let me know what you think of it because I spent a lot of time on this in case you weren't able to tell and I would really love to hear what you think. And I know I said this a bunch already but thank you for watching. <laughs>